All right, so I got top 10 Fallout vaults with the creepiest backstory. Subscribe to the video. So good to see you. Hey, Fallout has been killing it. Here? Welcome to Watch Mojo. Today, we're looking at 10 Fallout vaults with the creepiest backstory. I've recently backstory. reacted to the entire this list. We're only looking at vaults timeline physically in game of Fallout by the player. Vault 34. Okay, Fallout, Fallout 34. New Vegas. So we've already known some vaults. Pardon my enthusiasm. I'm not accustomed to meeting so many new people, but I find you fascinating. Okay. Though its backstory may seem a little less twisted than some others, Vault 34 is hands down one of the creepiest vaults in the Mojave Wasteland. Okay. Designed to house an elaborate armory, eventually the dwellers rebelled against the overseer. Dwellers? The weapons and fled, finding Nellis and becoming the heavily armored boomers. Those left behind were subjugated once more until a second rebellion happened. This one resulting in severe damage to the nuclear reactor. All the dwellers still inside became oh! dangerous feral ghouls. Yeah, shoot that as man well down. As housing some unique weapons, Vault 34 is also home to one of the franchise's hardest moral choices. Do you save a family trapped in the vault, but doom the farms above, or save the farms oh. and let the family die? Oh, snap. Wait, so like, because I know that fall, it, it gives you like decisions and stuff, fall but then it has 12, like different outcomes. Fallout. Why send a ghoul for a child's work? What's a uh, vault? Please. They say it was worse the in the other video. In the first two games weren't all that they say sinister, vault 13? especially vault not 13? by the standards of later entries in the franchise. But Vault 12 was certainly unpleasant when you dug into its past. Okay. You initially traveled to Vault 12 <laughs> to find a working water chip to replace Vault 13's. Oh! And find a huge city of ghouls built within it. I know this! Now known as Necropolis and occupied by the Master's Super Mutant Army. Vault 12 and Necropolis are underneath the ruins of Bakersfield and were, of course, Part of an elaborate experiment yep. on the part of Vault Tech. Mm -hmm. It seems that this time they wanted to see what would happen if they built a vault with a faulty door that would never quite close. Huh? The vault was filled with radiation, and only seven years after the war, most of the population had become ghouls. Is your head empty? No, yours vault look 19, empty. Fallout New Vegas. Okay. Cook left the vault. Good thing too. I've heard about this game before, though. Yeah, the, the Allen Iverson braids. Are the first villainous faction encountered in New Vegas, but they're not all that intimidating. Okay. While most of them are still holed up in the NCR Correctional Facility, some others have set up camp in Vault 19, a vault designed to study the effects of arbitrary segregation. You just got a bunch. You just got people doing experiments on each color, other. Red or blue, and sent to live in either the red sector or blue sector. Uh oh. The two overseers were in on the scheme, and working for Vault Tech, they encouraged the dwellers to distrust their neighbors. Oh wow. The people became sickeningly paranoid and didn't trust anybody around them. They could hardly even trust themselves. It's not clear how many of them made it out, but hopefully, some did escape and find some peace. Nah, nobody escaped. The armory could always use more firepower. Very well. Tell the powder gangers we accept their offer. Uh oh. Vault 75. Oh, Fallout oh. 4. Oh! We already saw that one settlement lit up. inhabited by children in the Fallout series. 4. But unlike Vault 75, Little Lamplight was born by total accident when a school field trip was trapped in the Lamplight Caves as the Great War began. Wait, Vault what? Vault 75, on the other hand, was designed to indoctrinate children into becoming soldiers. Built underneath Maiden Middle School in Boston, the children's parents were executed as the Hey, that's began. actually messed the up. The children were never meant to make it out either, not unless they were talented enough to join the military behind the scenes. Yo, what? They were almost all periodically executed upon becoming adults. It's not clear how long this horror continued until the inhabitants finally escaped, but it was certainly longer than anyone would have what liked. What type of hey, what type of school menace idea was this? Vault 22. Fallout New Vegas. No, it shouldn't take all that long. Just a few more moments. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Nah, Though no, I'm good. I, I don't know nothing. were deeply cruel and sadistic. Others made complete sense given the vault's purpose as fallout shelters. Vault 22 is one such case, designed to work out how to grow plants in the irradiated wasteland. That must and be hard. In a lot of ways, it was a success. They did grow a whole lot of plants. Unfortunately, 
they also produced deadly fungal spores that turned the vault dwellers into bright green spore carriers. You Poison need to Rivy. navigate the maze-like halls and decide what's best for the wasteland. Destroy the vault and everything contained within, or take the science in case it's useful for growing crops. Hmm. But you have to give it to an untrustworthy member of the NCR. I think it's I would take the Vegas's I would take like the science stuff. Locations and best design quests. Your concerns are perfectly understandable, but I assure you, they're entirely misplaced. We would never use technology that wasn't fully tested. Vault 92. The cap of Vault death. 3. Yes. Very sad, isn't it? Sad to think that no more musical instruments will ever be made the old way ever again. Okay. Perhaps Fallout 3's most underrated vault. Vault 92 was built to house the U.S.'s best and brightest I thought there was musicians. only 75. The Lone oh, Wanderer is I'm sent not, there by know. Agatha, an elderly violinist who wants them to retrieve a pristine soul Stradivarius from inside. Once okay. there, you'll be mostly contending with Meyer Lurks and trying to unravel the mystery of the vault. It turns out that Vault Tech didn't care all that much about music, because the vault's experiment was to brainwash the inhabitants using subliminal white noise so that they could become obedient and effective super- What? It worked a little too well though, driving the dwellers to madness and causing them to kill each other. Bro, they put the white noise on the TV and brainwashed them. Vault 95. Wait, you, wait, 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 wait. They might. They played the white noise, like the same While noise you used to go to sleep with? To house only those rich enough to pay for a spot within, Vault 95 had a different audience in mind, recovering and former drug addicts. For five years, the residents were treated for addiction and supported until the vault's experiment kicked in and a secret chem supply was released to the inhabitants. Okay. With the stress of a nuclear war on top, the dwellers couldn't cope and started to use chems again. The vault okay. descended into chaos and very few made it out. It's a truly evil twist of fate to spend five years helping people recover from an illness like addiction, only to throw that all away and encourage them to use again, which is what makes Vault 95 so sinister. Bro, all these vaults are, are, are just down bad. That's what, that's what I'm just hearing right now. All these vaults are, all these vaults are just three. menaces. Like, oh! When Fallout 3 moved the franchise to the East Coast, uh -oh. Todd Howard needed to come up with a reason for there uh -oh. to be super mutants miles away from the Master. That reason was Vault 87, a vault used to infect people with the forced evolutionary virus, or FEV. Vault 87 was also hit head-on by a nuke, rendering the main entrance the most irradiated spot in the capital wasteland. I mean, of course it is. Fact, it's hit by a nuke. it's almost impossible to reach the main entrance without using cheats. And the door is inaccessible to boot, so you've got to go the back way. These creepy what? caves you can't use the main door? the murder pass are also swarming with super mutants. The whole ordeal will take a lot of ammo and patience, and it's difficult not to pity the super mutants when you find out how horrible the story of their creation is. Dang. Vault 11, Fallout New I've Vegas. heard about Vault, uh, Vault 11. People should know what happened. They could learn from I've, it. I've heard about Vault 11. Out there at all. I hope they never have to find out. Ready, Harry? Yeah. Maybe there's such a thing as too much democracy? In Vault 11, the residents were tasked with regularly electing a new overseer with one catch. Whoever was chosen would be sentenced to death and executed. By the time the courier reaches the vault, it's empty, save for many sinister posters asking excuse me, to elect excuse their most favorite candidate for what? execution. If the dwellers club together and refuse to participate in the farcical elections, they would all be killed by the vault security systems. Talk about being caught between a rock and so a So somebody's place. gotta die. However, the story doesn't end there. It turns out that this was all a lie. vault wanted them to refuse a sacrifice, and in doing so would congratulate them and end the experiment. Oh. Only a handful were still alive when this was discovered. We should not have had to rely on your help in this crisis. I believed my actions were guided by caution and prudence. 
but I now see the truth. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe. Shout out to, to Watch our channel Mojo. And ring the bell to get notified. Make sure you guys subscribe and like the video. Videos. Appreciate it. You, you, you did it already. Thank you. Appreciate it. Or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing. Turn on notifications too. Vault 112. Vault. Vault. I thought that was only 100. Beautiful day, isn't it? Is this one a new Say, pick? you Wait. should go talk to Betty. She's waiting for you over on the playground. Betty? Fun, sport. In one of Fallout 3's most memorable quests, I don't remember. the lone wanderer reaches Vault 112 and finally reunites with their father, Liam Neeson. <laughs> oh, nice. Liam Neeson is trapped in the vault's tranquility lane simulation, just like everybody else. Uh -oh. Forced to occupy a 1950s cul-de-sac, living and dying according to the whims of the vault's insane overseer, Dr. Braun. The vault has a good karma and bad karma way out. In the former, you'll need to sneak into a spooky abandoned house and activate the simulation's failsafe, putting all the residents out of their misery. In the latter, you terrorize the neighborhood, becoming the pint-sized slasher, and murder the dwellers one by one. So you, so you become a school threat. Having ended over and over again by some maniac is definitely an awful way to spend 200 years. What? You've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. Did you enjoy this video? Bro, that is Check out sad, man. Comment down below what you guys think about the video, man. So you guys are going to think about and...